know it's a tall order, but I just want you to soak it all in today. You're surrounded by everybody who loves you most in this whole world, all in one room. And I hope you feel that love from everybody. I'm so happy you found Scott. You couldn't have found a better guy for you. About three years ago, this new girl began showing up with him. Sarah is quiet, but attentive. She's beautiful, intelligent, independent. She cut through a lot of crap in a much more practical fashion with Match.com. Somehow, that algorithm set up Scott for her. She knows what she likes, whether it's hamburger, French onion soup, and a Coke, or an overseas trip with this guy, Scott. Sure, he's boisterous, and she's reserved, but they share a deep loyalty and a lasting commitment to their friends. Tonight, tonight we're gonna ride. I had wanted a buddy to hike the Inca Trail with, and as we walked under that metal gate, she looked at me and she goes, well, if we survive this together, we'll be friends forever. Uh, as needless to say, here we are today, we survived. The next day I took her on one of the top five most dangerous hikes uh, in the world, and I didn't mention that detail to her until afterwards. Um, we survived that too. Yeah, I might be number one. Yes, you're right. When we were young, Sarah was actually the more mischievous of the two of us, if you could believe it. And then we hit high school, and thankfully we both became a little bit more serious. And Sarah, you know, blossomed into the brainiac that she was always destined to be. And now she's getting married. I can't believe it. Tonight's been a long time coming, and yet it feels like only yesterday. That Sarah was climbing out of her crib, <laughs> moving on to grade school, where she played sports. She played first base, and every time they threw the ball to her, I thought she was going to get hit in the head, but she always managed to catch it. The past three years have been wonderful, and now we get to continue the adventure as husband and wife. Well, I know it won't always be easy, I do know you'll always be there and show up. There's a lot of comfort knowing I can count on you no matter what. Five minutes after I took this picture, my life got exponentially better when you walked into it, literally. I can't wait to walk forward together. See you soon, Mrs. Scott Case. It's a picture he took right before I met him on our first date at the art museum. And it has the time, July 6, 2018. That is so sweet. So does God take good care of our daughter, love her, respect her, and treat her well. If you treat Sarah the way your father treats your mother, you hit a grand slam. To Sarah, I give you this message. I love you, and always will. The best blessing a parent could ever have is to see their children happy. And tonight it's clear that you're happy. And I think that's thanks to, to Scott. I, 
I, Scott, take you, Sarah, to be my wife. I, Sarah, take you, Scott, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of our lives. Nice touch. For the sick and for the dead, especially Sarah and Scott's beloved grandparents, so that they, along with Scott's uncle, be held forever in God's loving embrace. I said, gonna put that puppy right there for now. In the one barrel, okay, it's like a typical barrel, but now you get poured into another barrel, okay? The barrel of matrimony, holy matrimony. By giving each what you can over time, you're gonna be delicious, delicious. Introducing, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Scott and Sarah Case. Scott had it really rough when he was little. When he was three or four, he earned 50 cents a week for not saying poopy. So cool. I said dog she said parts. I freaking love you, love you. Something about you, about you. All of the feels, it's magic. I think I can say you have found an incredible travel buddy to go on the ultimate adventure of marriage together. And I could not be happier for you. Uh, my only advice is keep a spare bottle of Coke in your bag. <laughs> a toast, please. Really.